Good evening, Carlos. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Great. Good. And your teacher? I'm fine too. Thank you very much. You. I'm seeing that Rosa is having problems with the connection. She says in the group. I don't know. Um, yeah, I told her that. She has to disconnect any device because the Wi-Fi can be charged. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Elvia, how are you? Good evening. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good, too. how was your day? Oh, it was good. How was yours? It was good. Okay, great. So Are you tired today? That, oh, uh, yes, just a little bit. The only thing that it's very hot here. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, it, it was hot. hot today. Yeah, it was a very hot day today. Yes, you're right. Yes. The weather, the weather is summer weather, right? So it's really <laughs> hot. And in El yes. Salvador, in El Salvador, it's three times more, right? The, the heat <laughs> yes. is three times more than anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're yes. right. Yeah, it, it gets mm -hmm. us tired too because yeah. uh, they had drain, so we have to drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we have to drink. Yes. We have to drink water all day. Yes, that will mm -hmm. help, right? Mm hmm Hello, Walter Mauricio. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, How are hello, you? Teacher. Hello, teacher. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Este, I am fine and I relax in my world. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So, okay. Yes. So today you were nuts. <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> Not, okay, yes. uh, okay. Uh, nuts means like uh, you became without sins. Nuts. N U T S. Uh -huh. It's a word, a common word. It's not a formal way to say it. like crazy, become crazy. Right? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So that's what I understood when you say uh, today I am not. So I say, oh my God. You were really busy that you became not. <laughs> you became crazy. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, great. Welcome. And hello, Carlos Ernesto. Good evening, Rita. Good evening, Carlita. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. Okay, great. Great. Uh, what about the homework? Uh, have you had any trouble 
doing your homework on the platform? Did you do your homework from yesterday and the day before yesterday on the platform? Homework? Did you? No? You have to access to the platform and do the homework after every class, okay? After every class, you have to complete the homework on the platform. And remember that for Friday, you have to have done all the homework, okay? You have to complete all homework because Insofar take all that information. And if there is no grade, then you will be in trouble, okay? <laughs> because you don't have the grade, right? Do we agree? Okay, thank you teacher for letting us know. Okay, great. Now, uh -huh. let's see, we have one, two, three, just let me open this to see how many of you are here. Okay, now, oh, a lot. Thank you very much for coming back <laughs> to this class. Wilfredo, hi, good evening, Sandra. Welcome and Maria good evening, Fernanda, teacher. good evening. Edward, good evening. Angeli, hello. hello. William, hi. I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you again. How are you? Are you happy too? Yes, teacher, yes. yes. Everybody has yes. to say yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> No, yes, teacher. Yeah, we have to come to this class right now. Yes, teacher. Even though we're tired, right? <laughs> okay, then. I want to see you happy. I want to see you smile. Can you show me a smile? Yay. <laughs> okay, there you are. Hello, Rosita. Thank God you could connect. Um, she's having trouble with the audio, I think. Okay, great. Excellent. Hello, Rosita. Good evening. <laughs> we're happy to see you here. Yes, I saw that you were having trouble with the connection. Okay. Yes, that's thank you. Okay. Hello, Carla Marielos, and welcome. Okay, I see you all now. So I'm going to take the attendance for the first time, okay? Give me one moment and I will do it. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here, teacher. There we go. Welcome. Conchita Maria Cecilia. I think she couldn't make it, right? Not yet. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Eleani is not in, right? Not yet. Okay. Elvia Janet Beltran de Cabrera. Present. Thank you. Fausto Antonio Landaverde Lopez. No Fausto yet. Okay. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. All right. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Isaac Montoya Avila. Present teacher. Okay, there we go. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Thank you. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. 
Ok. Sí, Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Ok. We are having an interference over there. Can you please um, uh, disactivate the audio, please, everyone? And only if you have to say present, you activate your audio, please. So, Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Hello, teacher, present. Okay, thank you. Um, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño, right. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Okay. Ok, y a Wilfredo dijimos, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. There we go. Ok. Let's start. Uh, do you have any question from last class? Okay, if you have no questions, uh, we are going to start with a little review from yesterday, okay? And I'm going to show you this conversation that I sent you. I sent a conversation via WhatsApp. So please check if you have it. Okay, this is the conversation. We were talking yes. about obligations, right? These are obligations. So let's see, we have two persons here talking about obligations and giving instructions and asking for information of what to do. So we have Feliz and Sadie, they're two associates working and um, doing some activities. So let's read it, okay? Let's read it together and it says, hello, Sadie, welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to go for the supplies. Okay, where do I have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plant. Maintenance has to help you. Then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Good. See you in three days. How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm taking some days off. Okay. Do you see the intonation here? Let's read it again. Okay. Let's read it again. Hello, Sadi. Welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to go for the supplies. Okay, where do I have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plant. Maintenance has to help you. I'm sorry, maintenance has to help you. Then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Good. See you in three days. 
How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm taking some days off. Correct? Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? I have a question. Okay, tell me. What is the meaning of overseeing and oh. employees? Okay, employees is the person that they contract to work in a place, right? That's an employee, mm -hmm. is the person who work in a place, right? In, uh, okay. in an enterprise or uh, in your job, right? You are okay. an employee, right? Okay. okay. And uh, we were talking about oversee. D did you say oversee? Over oversee means yes. that you have to see if the employees are doing their job correctly. Okay. Like supervising. supervising. Yes. Uh -huh. Supervising. You have to check that everything is all right of what they are doing. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank Any you. other question? Okay, no questions, right? So we are going to choose two people right now. Let's see. Walter and Sandra. Walter is going to be Felix and Sandra is going to play Sadie. Okay? Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello, Sandy. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I am fine, thank you. I am how the list of activities you have to do, feel you have to do for the sample. Okay, where do I have to go for the supply? Supplies. Uh, you have to go to the center warehouse into Howard's store in Atlanta, in Atlanta. Okay. Where I where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plant. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance has to Maintenance help you. Has to help you. Uh, you tell you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Good. See you in two days. How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, no, no. I'm taking some day off. Okay, great. Great. Well done, guys. Well done. So, do you have any other question, guys, about the vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Maintenance. Maintenance is the department in charge of taking care of the machine or the... Uh, uh, mm, the mm, the plant, for example, the people who cleans up, the people who uh, fix the machines, that's maintenance. That's the department of maintenance, okay? So maintenance here, it means that the department of maintenance has to help, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Any other question? No questions? Okay. Then, right now we heard uh, Walter and Sandra, right? Before of doing the practice of this conversation, I want just to um, explain just a little thing, okay? This is very important. 
this is very important. I think I have to do this for you to see completely. One moment. Oh, again, the same thing. Okay, there we go. For example, this is what we have to take care of in this conversation. For example, we are going to make a little um, practice doing some sentences before, okay? For example, when we want to talk about obligations, we say, I have to leave home early, for example, right? Just let me use the mouse here. And for example, I have to leave home early every Friday, right? But what if I don't have to go or to leave home early? Then I can say, I don't have to leave home early every Friday, okay? This is the affirmative way, and this is the negative way. Do you see completely in your screen? Do you see complete this in your screen? Is it visible, the whole content? Pueden ver todo? Yes, la, teacher. Lo miran completo? Yes, teacher. No yes, se mira teacher. cortado? No, teacher. OK. No, it looks good. OK, si sí, lo miran completo toda la, la, la diapositiva? Yes, yes teacher. OK, yes. perfecto. Perfect. Then, I have to is the affirmative way. I don't have to is the negative way. And we use have to for I, you, and we, and they, right? And I don't have to, don't have to, I, you, we, they. So I want just to see the difference here. And we saw it yesterday. moment here and let me go there when we are talking about another person not you not me not I not you not we not they but she he or a thing right it then we say for example, this is an example using, using she, right? She has to check her email, right? Every morning, for example, right? She has to check her email every morning. This is just an example. So I'm going to write it down for you to take note, okay? This is using, okay? This is using uh, one moment here. She has to, okay, we are going to write it here. Mm -hmm. She has to mm -hmm, check her email. email. Yes. Let's add a little um, compliment here every morning yes there we go so this is just taking note okay this is for you to take note but what if she doesn't have to then we use she doesn't have to okay and the negative way will be she doesn't have to check her email every morning. Correct? Are we okay with this? This yes, is for you to understand the use in the conversation, okay? Now, what if we want to ask or make questions? In the conversation, we have some questions and some answers. So just let me show you. If we want to make a question, we go here. Just let me, oh, 
sorry. Have to do this and this and this, right? There we go. So for sure, this is asking for information and asking for a short answer, okay? This is asking for a short answer. Does Francisco have to store all the products today? What will be the answer? Yes, if it is affirmative, yes, he does. Or does Francisco have to store all the products today? If it is negative, then no, he doesn't. Correct? Do you have a question uh, at the moment? I don't have a question. Okay, thank you. So, do you? Maybe it's okay. Okay, great. Everyone? Correct? There we go. So, the next one. This is using plural. Using plural. Do the employees, ah, this is more than, in the first one, it was only Francisco. Francisco is only one employee. Now, let's talk about all the employees, right? Do the employees have to store all the products today? Yes, they do, if it is affirmative, right? If it is negative, no, they don't, correct? Any question here? No? Sure. Okay, so now we are going to go back to the conversation and let's check. I don't know why it doesn't move from here. Ah, there we go. I was looking for the conversation. Here we have it. So, if you see here in the conversation, I want you to check and mark if you want whenever uh, it is possible, but remark here that there are other kind of questions. I show you only the yes, no, right? Yes or no question, questions that you want that answer. What if you want some more information? Ah, then do you remember the information questions? Here we have one. Where do I have to go for the supplies? Do you see? Where do I have to go for the supplies? This is information. Look at the, look at the answer. It's a long answer. It's an explanation, right? It's an explanation. And, um, here we have another one. Where do I have to store them? Where do I have to store them? Can you please, oh, let me check here. The, I'm gonna, there we go. So where do I have to store them, right? Another information question. What do you have to do that long? What do you have to do that long? Do you see the questions? I want you to see the questions, okay? And the kind of answers that we can give. So right now we are going to break out in the rooms and in the WhatsApp, I sent you the, um, this conversation so you can practice it, practice it, okay? So right now, just let me go back here. Yes, teacher. Great. We are 15, 15 again, right?
Excuse me, teacher. Any yes. Problem? Mm -hmm. um, well, estoy aquí en eh, Spanish. No sé, se, se me cortó medio y solo veo que habíamos tres. No sé si nos mandaron okay. a grupos o... Sí, mandé a grupos y um, ah. creo que María Fernanda sería su compañera. Permítame, Walter. Ah, ok, ahorita lo asigno. Asigno a... Ok, there you go. I'm sorry. María Fernanda. Sí, perdón, que se me desconectó ahí un momento. Yeah. Okay. Eh, I am Félix. Ok. You have to do. First, you have to go for the supplies. Okay, where do I have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and and do the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new product plant. My name has to help mm -hmm. you then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Could see you in three days. How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, no, no. I think I'm taking some days off. Okay, okay. Hello. Uh, and you start, uh, oh. Wilfredo? <laughs> How are no, you? No. How are you doing? Uh, teacher. I'm listening something. You need to use your intonation. Give intonation, please. We have to uh, fight fear here, okay? No fear. Okay. <laughs> no fear, <laughs> no nervous, okay? No nervous. And we have to be confident as we as if we master it, right? So, uh, um, and also use your intonation to give some more mm, uh, like um, pepper, right? Salt and pepper here. <laughs> this is salt and pepper. So try, please try intonation. I'm going to stay with you to hear again. And I think you were going to switch. Walter is going to be what? Uh, what role are you playing, Walter? Okay. Hello, Sandy. Welcome. Are you Feliz? Okay. And who is going yes. to be Sadie? Both, right? You can be both. Pueden ser los dos al mismo tiempo. Okay. okay, okay. Vaya, okay. Walter, Walter sería. Walter will be um, playing Feliz and Elvia and Wilfredo are playing Sadie. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. 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 No problem. There we, but I want okay. to hear intonation. Yeah, intonation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. 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 I am a star. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Welcome. Hi. How Hi. are you? How are you? Uh, I am fine. Thank you. I had heard the list of activities. You have to do 
speed you have to go for the same place. Okay. Where do you, where do you have to go for the same place? You have to go to the central warehouse and to do Howard store in Atlanta. Okay. okay. Where do you? Where do I have to store them? To store them. You have to store them near the new production plan and maintenance. Ask to help you. You then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. No problem. Good. See you in in three days. How, How many, many days? days? What do you have to do, do, have that, to long? do that long? Oh, no, no, no. I'm taking some day off. Ah, great. I think that was I better, was right? Good. I like when you end, uh, practice intonation because it gives some more meaning to the conversation, okay? So... Practice again, and you can do the same thing. For example, if Wilfredo is going to be feliz and Elvia and Walter are going to be study, okay? There you go. Okay, we're going to, I'm we going to leave. To change. I'm going to leave the room now, okay? All right. See you. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to go for the supplies. Okay, where do I have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and, the, and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plant. Maintenance has to help. Hello, Eliani. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Right now we are in different rooms. We are practicing a conversation. So I'm going to assign you to, um, to a group, okay? For you to practice. Okay. There we go. Good evening. Hello, Maria Fernanda. Hello, William. Hi. Hello, Hello teacher. Hi, you have to practice as much as you can. So now we have Eliane with you, okay? Um, she is, uh, please practice with her too. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to leave the room now. Hello, Francisco. We are practicing a conversation. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. I'm going to assign Hi. you to a group, okay, for you to practice. Okay, teacher. There we go. Let's see. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Anjali. Hello. You have to practice as much as you can uh, until we stop, then you stop. But if it is possible, uh, restart and go back and go back because that's the way to uh, master these um, structures, right? So uh, I'm incorporating here Francisco to your group, so please. Practice with him too. Okay. Okay, I'm leaving the room now. 
comunicarnos un poco, bueno yo trato de comunicarme mm. con las personas que llegan, pero sí cuesta algo entenderlas a ellos cuesta más por su acento y todo eso. Mm. Bueno, pero mm. por lo menos entender, a, a mí entender, o sea, me cuesta menos hablarlo, es lo más complicado para mí. Sí, pero... eso sí, saber cómo responder. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dear students, that's very important. So you have to practice. Practice here in the class and it will be easier. Okay? Yeah. It becomes easier. As much you practice, as much you learn. Okay? As Socialism. Much... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> try, try. You have a lot of vocabulary. You have a lot of vocabulary. Use it. Use it here in the class. I know that you can say everything that you said right now. For example, when I listen to the people, it's difficult to understand. Ah, so you understood, right? What I said. Yes. You can say that. Okay, use your vocabulary, <laughs> please, please. Okay. Okay. Thank there you, you go. Teacher. Don't be afraid. Okay. You have to, you have to talk, mm -hmm. you have to speak. There we go. <laughs> Okay, practice the conversation, please. Practice the conversation as much as okay. you can. Okay. okay. I'm leaving the room now, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, how did you feel this activity? This conversation time? Was it good? It was good, teacher, because okay. it, the vocabulary is, it is, it is okay. Okay, this is for you to try and to practice how to talk about obligations or giving instructions, okay? This is the way that we um, give instructions, saying you have to do this, she has to do that, okay? That's the, um, the way to do it. So let's go to our manual. Let's go to our manual and let's see here. Uh, we were trying to solve this, um, this exercise yesterday and we were taking care of plurals and also singular. For example, the company uh, in activity number five, this is page 12. Number 12. Yes, page 12. You see here, page 12. And uh, use the mouse. Okay, you see, page 12. And the activity number five, we started yesterday and we were taking in consideration that the company is singular, so it is it. And if we are going to use the correct structure here, 
to say that they have to buy some material and then the um what could be the sentence can you tell me please okay wilfredo i have you right in front here uh number one can you solve number one please the company the company has to buy new material thank you very much number two excuse me yes has to buy correct the company has to buy new material yeah. number two uh let's see rita please number two remember that this is a plural your partners have to buy up containers the containers we could say the containers okay your partners have to pile up the containers. Good. Number three. Number three. Let's see, Carlita. Carla Marielos. The alien doesn't have to, to send the letter. Okay. Uh, doesn't. Um, is it plural or is it singular here? It's plural agents right agent so it is they right they so we cannot use doesn't we have to use don't correct the agent don't have to sign okay the agent don't have to sign the letter it's negative teacher Yes, because here in the parentheses, we have the information we have to use, not sign. Correct? So you're saying not. Number four. Let's see, number four, please. Can you read it uh, and complete it, Carlos Antonio? Mr. Mis Mr. Bonilla. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Correct. Excellent. Number five. Uh, let's see, Carlos Ernesto. Okay. Um, the group don't have work until late. Okay, great. This is a very interesting noun, the group, right? The group, is it it? Or is it uh, plural? The group is it or is they? they? It's one group, but is yes, teacher. Uh, uh huh. Many. Okay, For this me. is a collective yeah. noun. Uh -huh. Very interesting, right? This is inter uh, this is interesting because this is a collective noun. <laughs> In a collective noun, we can use either way. We can use as plural, depending on the context, or uh, we can use it uh, like, uh, like only one thing, right? The group, yeah. only one thing. In this case, we can use it like that. The group... Um, I mean, we can use it like in a plural, right? The group don't have to work. As you said, Carlos Ernesto, the group don't have to work. We can say doesn't here. We could say depending the context, but in this case, the group don't have to work until late, correct? This is very interesting, the group. Okay. <laughs> it's a very interesting and it is confusing. But don't worry, when you practice, you will get it. So let's see here in the next page. This is the cover, I'm sorry, the, the activity number six. This is the conversation we have already, okay? This is the conversation we have already and we practiced. So right now we're going to complete it. I will give you two minutes, okay? 
two minutes and think in a name of a classmate. Think in a classmate's name and complete, complete there. Then we're going to practice. I'm going to choose two of you, then two of you, okay? And there we go, two minutes. Everybody thinking and reading, okay? You ready? Are you ready? I'm going to choose two of you to practice this conversation, okay? Let's see. Francisco, please, and... We're gonna say Eliani. Eliani and Francisco, okay. You, you are A, Francisco, and Eliani is B. Okay, teacher. I, hello, Eliani, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of, of activities you have to do. First, you have to Okay. You well, have, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to interrupt. Uh, first, you have to what? You have to say an activity. Okay. You have to say the obligation okay. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, uh, first, you have have to um, uh, the the report. You have to write. Uh -huh. uh, you have to uh, write the report. Okay, you have to write the report. You have okay. to write the report. Okay, Eliani. Okay. Where I do have to uh, first write the production report. Ah, good. Uh, in the office, then um, then you have to beginning. Uh, to be to beginning what? What is the idea here? Um, You have to say an obligation, okay? You have to say an activity. Eh, okay. no, no he entendido muy bien la, la conversación. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Here, this is, the, uh, this is the same conversation that you were practicing, okay? In the breakout room. Is the same kind of conversation. So you are talking about obligations and talking about uh, giving instructions. So uh, in this case, you are giving the instructions to letter B, okay? And letter B is asking how to do that, correct? 
¿Sí me entiende, Francisco? Eh, sí, sí, entiendo Esta... que en esa parte, Ajá. Eh, como que me está diciendo qué es, lo, qué es lo que va a hacer. Sí, lo que pasa es que esta es igual a la que acaban de practicar. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. En donde están diciendo las cosas que tienen que hacerse, o sea, las obligaciones. Y luego, uh -huh. y luego está diciendo la otra persona cómo o dónde o aclarando su eh, instrucción. Eso es uh -huh. lo que estamos haciendo en esta conversación. ¿Correcto? Yo que entiendo que en la parte B está preguntando que dónde lo va a hacer. Exacto. No. Está uh -huh. aclarando cómo hacerlo o dónde hacerlo, eh, su uh -huh. instrucción. Uh -huh. Correcto. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ok. And, uh, so, uh, uh, Lore Ace, uh, in, the, in the office, uh -huh. in the office, then uh, you have a um, There you can say another activity. For example, okay. if you sí. said yes. uh -huh. if you said that she has to write the production report, and uh -huh. then she asked, okay, where do I have to write the production report? And you say in the office, right? Then okay. you have to send it. For example, this will be the other activity or the next uh -huh. activity, right? Then okay. you have to send it yeah. to all the executives or all to the managers, to the all uh -huh. managers, right? So that could be the other activity. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, then you have to, uh, um, how, how do you say, uh, comunicar o digamos como ponerse en contacto con las áreas de producción. Uh, like eh, that, then you have to communicate via email, via WhatsApp, or, uh -huh. or you have to send it to the meeting, right? It's, okay. not, uh, it's not closed. You have to open your mind and think in the new technology that we can use, right? It's not, uh -huh. and you can be a little, yeah, open open and diver diverse. So it's not just like this, as we say in Spanish, very uh, structured, right? No, then you mm -hmm. have to send it via email, then you have to communicate to all the personnel, then you mm -hmm. have to, and then you say, what, what is the next thing, okay? okay. Then mm -hmm. uh, you have to communicate um, in the WhatsApp group. Great. Um, um, with each supervisor area. Mm -hmm. Great, great, mm -hmm. excellent. Everyone is okay with this? Is everyone okay with this? Do you have any question uh, about obligations and instructions using have to and has to? Uh, yes, teacher, it is okay. Uh, it is okay. I guess the, the, the idea is, it mm -hmm. is uh, in our job, we have to give direct, different direction Correct. during the day. Then we have to, to be clear uh, about the neither. We, we have to, the other people or our employees have to do. Okay. Yes, it's correct. And it's very useful to know how to use how to and has to, because this is just an obligation. But this is the other uh, thing. And this is the other topic for today. What if we don't want to say you have to, like an obligation? You can use a possibility, right? You can use yes. a possibility. This is the other topic. We are going yes. to learn yes. how to use this as a possibility and to make it like um, kinder, okay? Uh, the, easier the last, the for the other teacher, person. Mm -hmm. teacher, more polite. Last, yes, yeah. more polite, we correct. Have to be polite. Yes, correct. So we are going to use can. Let's see it, okay? 
let's see it. I'm going again. I'm going back to the um, to the manual. Okay. There we go. So this is very interesting. Oh, we saw this box yesterday, but I want you to check this, okay? To check this. In activity number three, it says, read the conversation again to answer the questions. What conversation? Here we don't have a conversation exactly, okay? But we have this uh, box, okay? It's not a conversation, it's a box. And also, okay, and also we were uh, trying to make some questions and giving some answers using these uh, amounts or these measurements. Do you remember that? Let's read it again just to refresh, okay? Just to drill this. So let's see. How much does the tablet weigh? Can you answer? All, all of you, please. Everybody. They weigh. They weigh. They weigh. They weigh. They weigh. They weigh. Uh huh. 100, 100 grams. grams. One. Grams. Gra grams, 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 grams. Okay, this is gramos, grams. grams. So yes, how much does the, uh, I mean, how much do the tablet weigh? That, I'm sorry, do the tablets weigh? Do the tablet weigh so? They weigh, they, they weigh, they weigh 170, 170 grams. grams. Okay, now let's ask and answer some questions. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, the opportunity to ask a question. Uh, just give me a second because I can see you all. So, Elvia, please. Make a question about the television and please, uh, Fausto is going to answer, okay? Elvia, ask about the television. You can ask about the weight, the dimension or the quantity. For example, Elvia, do it with me, do it with me. For example, I can ask how much, okay? How much, tell it with, say it with me. How much, how much, how much, how much do the televisions weigh? Do the do television, television weigh. weigh. Okay, televisions weigh. Television weigh. Television weigh. Let's remember plural and singular. So how much does the television weigh? How much do the television weigh? Okay. If we say do the television, we have to say do the televisions in plural. But if we say does the television in singular, correct? Correct. So let's say it again. Are you using plural or are you using singular? What do you want? Singular? Singular. Okay, great. So how much does how, how much does the television the television weigh? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Edward, please. Uh, uh no, Fausto, Fausto. Okay, uh the television weigh. Uh uh -huh. Remember, singular, the television weighs. The television weighs. Uh -huh. um, 112.43 uh, LBS. Okay, LBS, we don't use LBS. LBS pounds. is short pounds. For, for pounds, correct. 
So, uh, I remember. <laughs> okay, great. No, no problem. No problem. But you did it good. You did it good because the, the, the amount you said it correctly 112.43 pounds. Okay. It's okay. very heavy, I think, right? It's very heavy. I think they are all of them, right? Maybe all of them. They, well, I don't know. I don't know. Because each, oh, I'm sorry. There is someone with interference. Let me see. Is it okay now? My sound, my audio? Can you hear me correctly? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so you hear me properly. Okay, great. So this is just to remember from yesterday, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you, and you all answer, how many refrigerators are in stock? Can you answer, please? Everybody, please. How many refrigerators are in the stock? Uh, there uh, are 50. There are 50. 50. 50 refrigerators. Good. This is a, a very complicated pronunciation for us. Refrigerators. It's very complicated, right? So let's try. Let's try. Everybody. Refrigerators. Refrigerators. Yes. Good. 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 You see, it's kind of complicated, but if we open our mouth, it will be easier. Okay. So now let's answer these. Let's answer this uh, activity, number three, pair work. So number one, can you read it please, Sandra? Sandra Beatriz, can you read it? Can one person store all the television oneself? What do you think guys? Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Only one person. Teacher, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. what mean oneself? Oneself means yes, only one. Uh, uh, significa lo mismo como uno mismo. No, uh, and, one, only one. Uh, no, it's not exactly. No, not exactly. By itself, it means that that only one person, a person, oneself, okay? A person, oneself, the same okay. person, right? By himself. You got it? One person, it says, can one person so this person, can this person store all the televisions? Only this person. What do you think? They are 100 televisions. Do you think only one person can store all the televisions? It's very difficult, teacher, but it's not impossible. Okay, great. I think it's going to take the whole day doing the same thing yes. and taking two or three or five at the same time, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, unless, unless that they have a tool, right? And unless that they have a tool, a carrier, right? A carrier. Then, yeah, I think they can do it. Or a cart, a cart, right? If they t have a card, I think they could do it. I mean, one person could do that, but we don't know if they have that, right? So what do you think? Thank you very much. Who, who gave me the answer? Because I couldn't see who was, uh, Carlos Antonio was, right? Okay, yeah, it's not impossible. Yes, it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think, Rosa? Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah. Can okay. one person store all the televisions oneself? Yeah. Can one person store on television also? Store mean that he has to take the televisions to the warehouse, okay, to stay there, to put them um, to be safe, right? So, in this case, thank you very much, Rosa. Uh, let's see. Francisco, what do you think? Can one person store all the televisions oneself? No, teacher. Uh, no. I think. Uh, are very heavy. Okay, yeah, they are heavy. They are, and they are a lot because they are 100, right? That they it's, have to it's take. Very, it's, it's very heavy. Uh, and uh, there is our money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> our yes. money television. <laughs> Teacher, yes, it, it is imagine if they, Excuse me? On safe it. Uh, yes. It is not safe. Yes, it's not safe. It's not safe. Mm -hmm. Correct, Wilfredo. So what will be the answer here? What will be the answer? If we give mm -hmm. a short answer with no explanation? Yeah. The answer would be no. no. He can't. We are going to use he mm -hmm. like... Um, uh, this is like general, right? He can't or she can't. But if we say general, then we are going to say, no, he can. Okay. No, he can. Can't. Okay. I'm going to write it down for you to take note. Teacher. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, maybe the, the sentence. Uh, mm hmm yeah, so yeah, one person don't have. Mm, we are using can no. here. We are using uh, can. We cannot use don't. We have says, to use can, right? One so, person can't. Correct. Good. Mm -hmm. So it will be no. Uh, I was going to use he or she because we um, use it like general usually but this is just giving you an idea no she or he i'm sorry can't there you go okay this means can not correct so if we use the answer it will be no one person can't correct this will be the short answer. Okay. Either um, of these answers will be correct. So next one, where can you store 50 refrigerators? Okay. What do you think? In a warehouse. Correct. Good. That's the best place, right? I think. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? So we are going to use you can store. store. Uh -huh, you can store 50 refrigerators in a uh, uh, I forgot at the same time you can store 50 refrigerators. yeah in the warehouse I'm sorry in a warehouse this is giving a long answer why because of the kind of the question because here it says where can, I, can you here 
we are using only a no answer, a short answer, but here we need a long answer, correct? Okay. You can store 50 refrigerators in a warehouse. There you go. Can you store the tablets on shelves? What do you think? Yes. For me, yes, teacher, because it's a... Yes, I can. A... Uh -huh. Yes, in this case, you is the most common yes, word, can. and it refers to any people. So we can use, yes, yes you, can. you can, okay? Can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes, you can. This is talking about, I mean, uh, saying or using you as general people. So general people answer the same. Yes, you can. Because they are not talking about yourself. Okay. Any question? Teacher. Yes, tell I have me. A question. Tell me. In the in the question number two, mm -hmm. the answer could be uh, you can do it in the warehouse, or or we can say store them in in a in a warehouse. Mm, again, please. In the question number two, mm -hmm. where can you store fifteen refrigerators? Mm -hmm. We can answer saying you can store them in a warehouse correct if we use like this uh-huh correct good oh, okay yes i'm going to write it down for everybody to get to take note about that okay just let me see here uh-huh we can use you can store them in a warehouse Correct. Ah, there you go. Oh. There we go. You can use either this or this answer and it will be correct. Are we okay with this or do you have any, any question? I'm great teacher. Everything okay? Okay, let's go to the next page. Please turn to the next page. Okay, and this is what you are going to use to ask questions, okay? Shows. Let's read it and then you are going to read it with me, okay? What do we use here? This is very difficult here. One, oh, there we go. Here it is. We use an information. This is two kind of, or two uses for the verb can. We ask for information and we ask or answer for possibility, right? So we use information words. Do you remember the WH words? Can you tell me the WH words? I'm gonna say here, where, when, what, what, what why, 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 where, how. Excellent. We have different WH words. So this is the word that we are going to use when we went when we want to ask for information okay where can you stack 
all the new products. Where can you stock all the new products? Let's see with when. When I stock all the new products. Correct? Any question about this? This is easier because when we use can, we don't have to change it. It doesn't change like do and does. And we have to be careful, right? With can, can is for she, can is for he, can is for it. And it doesn't change. If you see, where can he stack all the new products? Where can she stack all the new products? Can you read this, please, Rosa? Yeah. I'm gonna point it here. Do you see that I'm pointing? Where, where can he talk out the new? The new products. The new products. Mm -hmm. Okay, correct. Do you see this structure? Uh, we practice it in the in the conversation. So now, can for possibility. Let's see. We use can. Here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here we have can. I'm going to point it and you read it, Rosa, okay? Okay. Uh huh. Can, can you, can you stop all the new products? Stuck all the new products. This is asking for kind of a favor or being polite, as Edward told us, right? Being polite, we can ask to the person, can you stock all the new products? And the person is allowed to say yes or no, if he or she can, or if he or she can't, correct? So let's okay. read it again. Can I stock all the new products? Right? Yeah. Can I, I stock? All the new products. Excellent. There you go. There you go. So next one, let's see. The next one will be the activity. Okay. Thank you very much, Rosa. Okay. In the activity here, it's very easy. You have just to write the question. Okay. You have to read the answer. And then you have to write the question, according this or this. Are they asking for possibilities or are they asking for information? Correct? What is the hint here? What is the tip? Ah, the tip is that we use, yes, she can, or no, she can't, or no, we can't, correct? Yes or no, it's going to give you the hint. All right. Correct? Okay, I'll give you I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes for thinking only number one. There we go. Only number one. Let's do it now. Tell me when you finish, okay? If you finish, finish tell me. Okay, great. I Thank finished. you. Okay, good. Only number one. Yeah. Okay. Can I say you, teacher? Excuse me? Can, can I talk my example? Do you want to read it? Okay. Okay, give me the example. I mean, give me the question, the answer. Okay. Here. Where can I start then? Correct. Good. Where can I store them? Okay. Because we are using store in the answer, right? Where can I store them? 
You can store them in the back room. Good. I'm going to write it down for you to take notes. This is uh, Carlos Antonio answer, okay? When I'm going to write it down. Where can I uh, store them? Correct. Where can I store them? Okay, now let's think about number two. I'm gonna give you one minute. Okay. Are you done yet with number two? Uh, me teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think, I think, um, mm -hmm. can she sign the form? Good. Can she sign the form? Excellent. That's very good. Now, number three. Number three. I'll give you a minute again. There we go. Teacher. Uh huh. Any teacher? Okay, uh, tell, tell me, may, Francisco. And then maybe uh, can you move all television to the back room? Uh, you, uh, mm -hmm. how do you say? Este uh, Guarnayola, so vos. Excuse me? Uh, mm -hmm. How do you say uh, aplica? No sé si el, el yo entiendo que aplica para también ustedes. Applies for plural, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. applies for plural. Yes. Uh, maybe can you move our television to the back room? Okay, great. Let's see. Can you move? Can uh -huh. I move? Mm -hmm. Move our television to the back room? Yes. Mm -mm -mm. All television to the back room. The, the thing is that this thing is going to move everything down there to the back room. I think it's going to be possible. I have to move it. Okay. There we have it. Yes, it is correct. I see it correct. Can you move all, the, all televisions or all that televisions to the back room? No, we can't. We can't move all the televisions. Okay, yes, it's good. Good, so you finished number four, five and six and your house okay later you can practice doing it and tomorrow we are going to check them okay we are going to check them okay. here again and uh let's go to the other um to the next thing here because i want you to i'm sorry i don't know why ah it's for this there we go. 
Again, the same thing because it 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 moves differently. <laughs> it's the same thing. It moves one moment. I'm going to erase this and this. Oh, sorry. Okay, now we are going to see uh, some vocabulary, okay? This is some vocabulary about storing. I want you to see some vocabulary about storing. Let me get there, look. This is for you to think a little, okay? You think a little. What do you see in this picture? What do we have here? What are these things in the first picture? Do you see the mouse here moving? Miran el ratón apuntando aquí? No se ve. Okay, you can see it. Just let me check because I want to point and it says mouse here, but it doesn't show them. One moment. I don't know if it is this. Mm -mm. Okay, what I'm going to do is this because I don't find the pointer here. Okay. This first picture. The one that is down uh, or yeah, down the... Um, the text, the, uh, the text box. Do you see what is below the text box? Yes. yes. Okay, what is it? Can you tell me what do you see? No, I can talk about how and where people can stack certain products at my yes. workplace. Yes. No, 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 no. We are, I'm sorry. So you are not seeing the same that I'm showing here. Estoy mostrando una diapositiva. Estoy mostrando oh. una diapositiva. ¿Se ve? No, teacher. Ah, ok. Ahí va el detalle, por eso era. Tengo <laughs> que, tengo que hacerlo nuevamente. Perdonen. I'm sorry. Ok. Sorry, teacher. Now I think it's going to do it correctly. Is it okay now? Do you see pictures? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Yes. No. Okay, okay, now. Okay. Now we are tuned, okay? <laughs> this picture, the first picture that you see here, what do you see? Tools. Tools. I can see many tools mm -hmm. and okay this is the first picture now let's think about shelves. this Help, teacher uh-huh tell me shelves Mines. Is like uh this, this picture where we can put many many tools to oh show yes the, the first one mm -hmm. yeah okay a lot of tools right different tools mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you see in this okay. other picture? Wines. Wines. And Wine. there is another name also, spirits, okay? Spirits. It means a drink, an alcoholic drink, okay? Alcoholic drinks, spirits. <laughs> oh. Okay, I know you know about this, but just calm down, calm down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't get too excited. But look, what wine, right? Wine, spirits, wine. and drinks, let's say, right? Wine. Do you think is this a winery? It could be, right? Yeah. What else do you see? Do you see these barrels? <laughs> Barrels. Cosmetic products. Oh, this Mirror. one. Yeah, this is another one. 
This is another one. We were talking about the wine here. The wine. I can see a mirror too. A mirror? It, it Where do you mirror. see the mirror? I don't here? know the light between between I don't know like, like a mirror. Uh so where where do you see a mirror? Do you see a mirror? No, but it is, it is a how do you say Mark Marco? Well, it is it is it's a wall. Cool. This Mark. thing. Yeah. This thing is a uh yes, yeah. this a wall. Mm -hmm. It's a crystal wall. Yeah. It's a crystal wall. Okay. So let's see. What do you see in these other pictures? Someone said uh, makeup, right? What do you see? Okay. Product women here. Uh, women here. Product. What do you see in this picture? Hey, girls. <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> yeah, lipstick. <laughs> this is our dream store. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We yes. are lost in this. A lot of makeup. A lot of makeup. Oh. Yes, makeup. You see makeup, lipsticks. You see nail polish. Oh. You see blush here. Okay. Eyelashes. Yeah. Eyeliner. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Foundation, right? Like this. So there is a lot of products here, okay? There is a lot. So let's see here. What do you see here? I can see. Do you see a door here? It's like so a closet. it means yes. yes, a closet. That's a good word. A closet. Uh-huh. What is what else could it be? We call it a walking, okay? A walk-in, yeah, a walk-in. And this usually is at the, in the back or at the back of the kitchen in American houses and American restaurants, they have this storage. And what do you see here? Do you read here storing what? Storing oils. Yeah, um, oils, uh-huh. If you read here, it says hazardous chemical chemicals. Inner chemical, chemical, inner products. chemical, Chemi chemical products. All bent. Uh-huh. So everything has a place to be stored safely, right? So let's see. Just let me get there because I have to close this and then I have to go this. Okay, now let's see the words. Okay, now let's see the words. We saw the picture, right? So let's read here. Okay. Storage place, storage place. Can you say it with me? We're going to read it and then we are going to give some uh, ideas if you don't understand one of them, okay? Storage place, storage place. Everybody, please repeat after Stor me. Storage place. Storage place. Storeroom. 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 Warehouse. 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 Closet. 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 Pantry. 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 Shelves. 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 Stack. 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 Pile. Pile. Lift. 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 Safe. Safe. Okay, depot. 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 Stock room. Stock room. Storehouse. Storehouse. Bag. Bag. Packaging. 
a moment. Perfect. Unit, dozen, Unit. and... One second. Let me move this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to move this. Oh, doesn't allow me to do it. I can't read the other one. Okay, so you need dozen and hundreds. You need, you need dozen and hundreds. And we have these two um, expressions or phrases that we use. A couple of, a couple of, a couple of, of and a pair of. A pair of. Pair of. Pair of. There are some products that they sell them only in pairs. For example, like shoes, right? A pair of shoes, right? A couple of mean two, two of or a little of, okay? Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Do you know all these words? Teacher, mm -hmm. what mean hundred? Hundreds. It means uh, 100 products. Mm. 100 products or uh, the sum of that. For example, 100, 200. So you say hundreds means a lot, right? But in the now, I mean, in the number, 100. Centenas. Eh, correct. Eh, como docena. Yes, correct, 12 products. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Good. Teacher, uh -huh. when, when we uh, talk, how, how, how do you say storage uh, or, or storage? Storage. Storage. A storage. A storage. Yes, okay. storage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me. Room. It is, it could be a place where you can show products too? Yes. Yes, it could be a store where you sell the products. Yeah. Where you sell the products. Yes, it could be because of the meaning of the word. Okay. The word means two things. It has two meanings. It has okay. the meaning to uh, maintain safe the things or to keep them until you are going to use them or ah, the okay. physical place where you sell the products ah, stores okay. right so it has the two meanings yeah thank you teacher okay there you go uh-huh any other question or are we okay because we are the are... meaning uh -huh. shelves 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 are these shelves. things that you are going to see here just let me get there shelves these are shelves look shelves are these a piece of metal or a piece of uh, um, wood that you um, screw on a wall and put things on it right a pizza un estante walter <laughs> yes, but we're not using. Let's try to define the things giving explanations in English, right? <laughs> let's describe the material, let's describe the function, let's describe the size, you know, the colors, or and it will be better for you, okay? Because you, uh, <laughs> you expand your vocabulary, okay? No Spanish, please. No it's, translation. It's, it's like a uh -huh. Yes, yeah, tell me, Carla. It's like a like it's like a store in the supermarket. Uh, which one you said? The shelves. Oh yes, the shelves. Yes, it's correct. Okay. The shelves where they put the things to show them, uh huh, to display all the products. Yes, yes, it's correct. So this is the thing. Everything or every product has a place to, to be stored safely, okay? So let's see. 
let's read this. Let's read this. This is just to finish, okay? This is just to finish because we have just, oh, I'm sorry. This is just to finish. I'm going to send this and this other tomorrow. I mean, in the WhatsApp for you to read it and read it and read it. And tomorrow we are going to discuss this, okay? Today we are just reading it. So it says, where do I have to store? And then you can use any of these uh, products, okay? For example, dry foods, medicine, medicine, chemicals, hazardous materials, weapons, tools, bottles, spirits, wines, and drinks. This is the kind of information for you to make questions, okay? So where do I have to store refrigerated products? Can you read the number, I mean, the first one, Walter Mauricio, please? You have to store in refrigeration production. Where in any world in or a standard and freedom of refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Excellent. In the standard upright refrigerator. Okay. Standard upright refrigerator. Good. Good, good, good. So if you see, this is an explanation where you have to uh, maintain safely this kind of products. Let's read number two. Um, I see here, William. Dry foods. Dry food have to be stored in the dry and cool storage storage room near the kitchen. Great. Number three, can you read it please? Um, Angeli. They have to store the, this medicine at room temperature. That means between 50 uh, grades. Uh, this is 15 degrees, 15 degrees, 15 to 25 degrees. 225 degrees Celsius. Good. Medicine, please, Maria Fernanda, can you read that? Medicine has to be started in a dry place away from heat and humidity. Humidity, humidity, humidity. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, Sandrita, Sandra Beatriz, please. You don't have to score to make in the floor, you have to store the no, no higher than a level. Okay, then I level, I level. Okay, good. I level. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read for you the other ones, okay? You have to classify the hazardous materials by hazard to storing them in a warehouse. Uh, next one, it says, you have to be aware of local, state, and federal regulations to safely store weapons in your household. We are talking about guns and knives and those kind of weapons. Next one, it says you have to organize the tools by type for easy location. Next one, it says that you have to store those bottles or any bottles in an upright position. And the last one, it says that we have to keep spirits, wine and drinks in a cool and dark place, okay? So I read this because the activity for this is for you to read, okay? For you to read. I'm going to send this image or this uh, slide and you are going to have it in the group for you to read it. And we are going to discuss this tomorrow, okay? And uh, now I'm going to take the attendance. <laughs> Thank you.
There we go. And I'm um, sorry. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here. Conchita Maria Cecilia Gomez Campo. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. One moment, please. Um, Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. You said present, right? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. William Isaac, oh no, I'm sorry. You are the last one. Okay, William Isaac Montoya Avila. Presente. Okay. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present, teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Hello, teacher. Present. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Y Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Good, good. This was just a little break, right? When we take the attendance, you take just a little break and relax, everybody, relax. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> now we finish the nervous, we finish the fear. Yeah, we fight the fear today and we did it, right? We did it, I think we did it. You did a great job. You did a great job today. It's very heavy, the topic that we started today, but you did it great. You did it great. Okay, can you tell me what did you learn today? What did you learn today? Do you remember the first thing that we saw? Do you think you can, uh, you can give instructions? Can you give instructions now? Hey guys, I'm here. I, <laughs> hey, hey. I, me teacher. <laughs> Class is not dismissed yet. <laughs> I, I learned um, the different and between camp for information mm -hmm. um, or camp for possibility. Okay, great. Good, good, good. Thank you very much, Edward. So what what else did you learn today? Okay. Give mm -hmm. orders or like giving orders, yes, giving orders or instructions. Mm -hmm. What do we use to give instructions? You have to do this and that, right? You we, have we to have wake to up early. Mm -hmm. You told us that, that we have to be polite when. Yes, of to... course. Of course, we have to be polite, guys. But let's remember that when we are bosses, then we have to be clear when we need that something has to be done, right? So it's an obligation, right? Just that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you have to use what for possibility and being more polite. Can you do this for me, please? Right? Can you stock all the televisions correctly? Right? Correct? Do you agree, guys? Are we okay? Raise your hands like this. Raise your hands. I want to see you. Raise your hands. Raise your hands straight up straight up straight up as much as you can okay there you go there you go there we go so i think 
class is dismissed. Just let me check who is the one programmed for today. The one who is programmed to stay Thank with me. Carlos Murillo. Carlos Murillo, okay. And so are you staying with me? Yes, teacher. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell the last thing today. I need you to do the homework. Please do your homework on the platform. If you have any trouble to access to the platform, please, uh, and don't hesitate, just call to Inglés Corporativo a la Administración and they are going to give you the assistance that you need, okay? Ellos les van a dar la asistencia en el momento que ustedes necesiten. Cualquier cosa, cualquier situación, recuerden que tienen que estar en contacto con la administración, ¿verdad? Porque eso eh, les afecta. Si ustedes no hacen su tarea, no hay una nota registrada, viene esa Forbes, se lleva las calificaciones y después ingresar esa, esa, esa calificación ya no será posible. Así que tenemos que tenerlo para el día de viernes. Todito listo. Y si tienen alguna duda, acuérdense que aquí estoy yo y acuérdense que tenemos eh, cómo comunicarnos, ¿verdad? Así que en cualquier momento usted pone la pregunta y yo con gusto le contesto en el momento que se puede, ¿verdad? Correcto. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're Thanks. welcome. Do you have any question? Any opinion? What, eh, ¿Alguna cosa para que sea mejor esta clase? Mm. Sí, por lo menos Excelente. Que no, no veo. Ajá. Okay. Excelente. Eh. Ay, gracias, compañeritos. Me alegra, me alegra de veras. Me ale... Punto, punto. A decir. <risa> no, teacher, eh, bueno, yo considero teacher. que es su el, 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 el inglés o la forma que usted lo habla es bastante entendible. Oh, y, yeah, sí. y, y cómo oh, se llama bueno, ahorita que nosotros estamos como familiarizándonos eh, familiarizando el, el oído y digamos en las conversaciones y todo eso ayuda bastante ok, muy bien la, el único consejo que yo les quiero dejar bien grabado y eh, quizás es la segunda vez que se los voy a decir eh, utilicen todo su vocabulario ya ustedes ya cursaron tres anteriores, ¿verdad? Entonces ya tienen un repertorio, ¿ok? Y si no lo hicieron así, que estudiaron, así como me dice Carlos, que no. Este, pero por lo menos si ustedes están en el cuatro, quiere decir que hay un vocabulario ahí atrás que sí se debe usar. Hay que desempolvar un poco el baúl de los recuerdos y sacar todo el vocabulario posible. Y si nos equivocamos, Riámonos, ok, riámonos, seamos felices cuando nos equivocamos, que no nos dé pena, ok, esto no nos debe dar nada de pena, correcto. Saludos okay. al bebé de Carlos. ¿Oye? Tiene bebé, Carlos. Ah, oh, bueno, ahí está. Una, una picture. Hey, yeah, you're right, you're right. Hi, hello, how are you? Hola. Hi. ¿Cómo está? What's your name? ¿Cómo es su nombre? Carlitos. Carlitos. Y Junior. Sí. Oh, Carlos <laughs> Junior. Good. <laughs> ok, nice to meet you. Yes. Es un placer conocerte. Ok. Gracias. Ahí puede estar aprendiendo con su papito. <laughs> Okay, bueno yes. chicos, class dismissed and you may go, then I'm going to stay with Carlos, okay? So bye-bye okay. and have a great bye. night. Please bye. rest See well, tomorrow. rest bye. well. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. Good night bye. everybody. Bye. Okay, Carlos. Here we are. Okay. Do you have any question? Mm, 
maybe for, for me is is uh, is the first model in, in this uh, in this case. Oh, okay. Uh, I I, um, I don't know uh, how the the how do you say mechanical or, or este, el seguimiento que se debe dar. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, here the the idea is that you ask questions of, or give opinions or you ask for assistance in any topic uh, about the class or something else if you think that I can help you with. So you tell me, okay, I need to know how to use exactly, for example, can for possibility because I didn't understand or uh, can we practice a conversation or something like that. This is what we do in these 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Good. Uh, for me, the I I feel the the difficult in the use to uh, uncountables and countables. No. Oh. And, yeah. Okay. So yes, we have different good. concepts in English than in Spanish, right? But yeah, yeah yes. I know. But just have a tip. For example, liquids, liquids that fits in a container, for example, we count the container, not the yes. liquid, right? So this is the a, a kind of a tip that you can follow, okay? For example, let's say things that you have around you things that you have around you. Can you tell me the na now name of things that you have around you? Okay, that's maple syrup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maple syrup. And that's very delicious with pancakes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The content is uncountable. Maple syrup is not countable, but the bottle okay. is countable. So okay. this is the difference that you have to make. Then, one, for example, show me the bottle. Show me the bottle that you have there. Okay, then I'm going to ask you, how much maple syrup is there left? ¿Cuánto queda de ese uh, maple uh, syrup? It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a proxima, mm -hmm. approximately approximately um, half bottle. Okay, so if you see, you gave me an answer because I said how much, right? How much yeah. is the phrase that we use for uncountable? How much is how for much? uncountable? And how many is for countable? For, exa for example, okay. if we use sugar, for example, we count the spoons. Right. So if we think, if we think about the maple syrup again, okay, and I tell you how many spoons, let's say spoons, because this is a little one, but let's say spoons. How many spoons of maple syrup do you want? Okay, then I'm counting the spoons, not the maple syrup. Then I say how many okay. because the spoons mm -hmm. are countable. Okay, I mean the noun is countable. Okay. Is okay. it okay like that? Yes, teacher. Okay. I I I I I think this is very very easy with uh, you uh, thinking in the products um in the if if you can see the 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 containers the the products in, in finals because I, I think for example when we buy um, a bag of money no, yes example, peanuts peanuts um, mm -hmm. peanuts yeah, peanuts uh, peanuts, uh -huh. peanuts. Okay, when when we buy peanuts, um, we can countable count the the bag, but we can't 
count the, the peanuts. peanuts. Yes, we can say one peanut, two peanuts, three peanuts, or like that. We say a bag of, pe of peanuts, right? Or a bag of peanuts. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carlos Antonio. Okay, I'm sorry, but I think he got disconnected. Carlos Antonio, are you still there? Okay, there you are. Okay. Do you think you can ask some questions? Sorry, you can ask some. Oh, you can hear, okay. Hi, teacher. Okay, yes. Hello. Here I am, one, two, three. Hi. Okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, I then. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. very, uh huh. Yeah, with internet, we have this kind of trouble, but don't worry. I will be here until we uh, have this clear. Just let me show you again the countable and non countable. Okay. And let me go okay. there. Okay, this is the tip that I told you, okay? Always think about the uncountable knowns are usually food, for example. They, they usually, it's not that every kind of food is non-countable or uncountable, right? But when you uh, have a drink, any kind of drink is uncountable. Substances. If it is substance, then you think is uncountable. Abstract okay. things or abstract things. Mm, I was saying the, uh, the feelings, right? Hate, love, or uh, art. Art is uncountable too. So those are abstract, abstract things. And the other one was the collective nouns, collective nouns. Okay, but usually with the collective nouns, we uh, take them as a plural, but it depends because usually we use is or do or um, the singular form of the verb, right? But yes, collective nouns could be uncountable, uncountable, like people, right? People is, uh -huh, is uncountable. You cannot like count people by that, but you can count person by person, right? Yes. Person by person, yes, but people, it's a plural, right? Uh, another collective noun could be army, right? Army, the army, you can count the soldiers, right? And yeah. usually we don't say armies, but yeah, we could say. Nowadays, these have changed. So we have to practice. This is the only okay. way. 
Okay, this is the only okay. way, but usually food, drinks, substances, and as abstract things and liquids, any kind of liquids like water or um, any kind of milk, any kind of liquid, liquids, right? Those are mm -hmm. uncountable. And we use how much, for example, how much milk is there, how much coffee, if it is already made, right? How much uh, water, and then they, they have quantifiers, okay? The quantifiers make them like how many, right? How many cups of coffee, right? Because there okay. is a quantifier here. There is a you quantifier, the mm -hmm. cup. And we say, for example, the sugar, uh, we have spoons. Spoon. This is the quantifier, right? Uh, it could be like that. It will be taken like that. Is that okay? okay Yes, teacher, okay. Uh, you, you really help me, help me in this, in this uh, tutorial. No, I don't say how to use the tutorial, but okay. it's, a, it's a good idea, the institutes. Tutorials. The, yes, tu tutorial. okay. tutorials. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. My pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, you always can count on me, okay? If you have any other question, okay. you can uh, send a question via WhatsApp too, okay? By the group. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, don't worry. Okay, don't good. Worry. So thank, thank you very much you. for staying and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. And a good too. rest. Huh? Thank you very much. Say bye-bye yeah, to your you. baby. Bye. <laughs> thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, bye. bye.